before you can love, you must first learn to listen. We live in a world filled with noise and distractions. So we need those who know how to keep still. while bearing witness to love. for comfort and a way to peace. Bringing calmness and certainty. To a broken world. Showing how the love of Christ is the only way of life. Our family has spanned the centuries and the globe. With God's grace, we started hospitals to care for the sick. We established orphanages and helped the poor. We are the largest charitable organization on the planet, bringing comfort to those in need. We educate more children than any other institution. We developed the scientific method and founded the college system. We defend the dignity of human life and uphold marriage. Guided by the Holy Spirit, we compiled the Bible. We are transformed by sacred scripture and sacred tradition, which have guided us for 2,000 years. We are the Catholic Church. With over one billion in our family, sharing in the sacraments and fullness of the Christian faith. Jesus started our church when he said to Peter, the first pope, you are rock, and upon this rock I will build my church. So if you've been away from the Catholic Church, we invite you to take another look. Visit catholicscomehome.org today. We are Catholic. Welcome home.
pray for the following intentions for the birthday and thanksgiving of uh, Nepo, Jerome. And we pray also for the uh, grade 11 A and D together with their advisors, Ms. Lorraine Beltran and Mr. Lodeo Pascual. And this Holy Mass also we pray for our own family, friends, benefactors, and those who are helping us in our journey. Then the Father of the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. And today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Jerome. Jerome, patron saint of librarians and libraries, as well as our archivists, translators, and encyclopedists. September 30 is celebrated as a feast day in the Catholic Church for this canonized saint and doctor of the church and as a day of commemoration in Lutheran churches. Jerome, also known as Jerome of Istridon, was a Latin priest, confessor, theologian, and historian. He is commonly known as Saint Jerome. Jerome was born at Istridon, a village near Emona, on the border of Dalmatia and Pannonia. Coming together as one family, let us pause for some moments and be sorry for the sins that we have committed. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. Jerome a living and tender love for sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word and find in it the fount of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The reading from the book of the prophet Nehemiah. The whole people gathered as one in the open space before the water gate, and they called upon Ezra, the scribe, to bring forth the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord prescribed for Israel. On the first day of the seventh month, therefore, Ezra the priest brought the law before the assembly, which consisted of men, women, and those children old enough to understand. Standing at one end of the open place that was before the water gate, he read out of the book from daybreak until midday in the presence of the men, the women, and those children old enough to understand. And all the people listened attentively to the book of the law. Ezra, the scribe, stood on the wooden platform that had been made for the occasion. He opened the scroll so that all the people might see it for he was standing higher up than any of the people. And as he opened it, all the people rose. Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people, their hands raised high, answered, Amen, Amen. Then they bowed down and prostrated themselves before the Lord, their faces to the ground. As the people remained in their places, Ezra re read, read plainly from the book of the law of God, interpreting it so that all could understand what was read. Then Nehemiah, that is his excellency, and Ezra the priest scribe and the Levites who were instructing the people said to all the people, Today is holy to the Lord your God. Do not be sad and do not weep. For all the people were weeping as they heard the words of the law. He said further, Go, eat rich foods and drink, sweet drinks, 
and a lot portions to those who had nothing prepared. For today is holy to our Lord. Do not be saddened this day, for rejoicing in the Lord must be your strength. And the Levites quieted all the people, saying, Hush, for today is holy, and you must not be saddened. Then all the people went to eat and drink, to distribute portions, and to celebrate with great joy, for they understood the words that had been expounded to them. The word of the Lord. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter than also than syrup or honey from the comb. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The kingdom of God is at hand. Prevent them. Believe in the gospel. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus appointed 72 other disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, <clears throat> but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money, bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you. For the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of, of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, The dust of your town that clings to your feet, even that we shake off against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day done for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I remember when I was sent for my pastoral year in uh, Tanzania, my formator gave me some reminders to be with the people, what I am going to do, how to do, techniques of being with the people. Be well, being with the people, it, it requires some approach to enter the lives of these people. It is very important to get the attention and witness. Entering their lives, it requires some approach. It needs to be humble, and it needs to respect one's culture. Our gospel reading today is all about commissioning. To be commissioned means to be sent out to fulfill a particular purpose. And it rests on a mandate, an instruction, in order to fulfill a purpose. And Jesus sent his disciples to different places to preach the good news. And, bef and before Jesus commissioned his disciples, he gave them reminders and guidelines to their mission. Meaning the disciples were trained 
Jesus taught them on how to spread the good news. And so we are not just sent by ourselves, but rather we are carrying Jesus. We are witnesses of Jesus, and we are all to follow Jesus' way and life. And for sure, this is the challenge of the followers of Christ, to be always like him. Jesus is always reminding us that when we go out and give witness to God's love in the world, we bring something good and appealing. This way, with God's grace, love spreads and goodness grows. Amen. Please rise for our petition. Aside from the 12 apostles, Jesus sent 72 other disciples ahead of towns and villages he intended to visit. He sent them in pairs for mutual help and to strengthen their witness. Let us pray for more missionaries and ministers of the world. And let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the Pope and the bishops may be united in love in, and in common mission to continue the work of the apostles in preaching the gospel to the whole of creation, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That missionaries may go forth and serve with the same courage that the Holy Spirit stirred up in the apostles. May they speak out with enthusiasm, boldness, and apostolic fervor, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That people may welcome the word of God preached and witnessed to, the, to by the ministers of the word, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Christian people help provide for the needs of preachers and missionaries, for the Lord has offered that those who preach the gospel should live by the gospel, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. May preferential option for the poor be given primacy, in the preaching of the gospel, for God's heart has a special place for them. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we pray also for our personal intentions and the intentions of His Holiness. Almighty Father, may your word resound in all the earth by preaching and by modern means of communication. Compelled by your love, may we say with St. Paul, woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. To Christ our Lord. Amen.
stop preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. As with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of the Highest. Blessed is you who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the Highest. Join me, holy, O Lord, the fountain of holiness, make holy the form of fruits, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them that are faithful, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our time was required and answered willingly in this absence because of bread and living hands. Brought it, we may be his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. We will exceed it our way when supper was tender, because the chalice and all its small giving cups. We will be his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, and by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the remembrance of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that our Father's blessing is in your presence and in your will. Come, we pray, the passion and the body of his blood, and may we gather into one in the body of our Holy Spirit. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the power and the glory yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace in accordance with your will. And live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant our friends peace. <coughs> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord you are not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord's Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. 
my Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually to my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Lord God, your words were found and I consumed them. Your word became the joy and the happiness of my heart. Let us pray. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating St. Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful so that attentive to sacred teachings, they may understand the path they are to follow and by following it, obtain life everlasting. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with and may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to serve and love the Lord. Thanks be to God.